Okay, so if you have an Android TV box and you need to update it because you're having problems, I'm going to give you some quick steps how to update um, at least the build on Kodi. Um, I'll make a video this weekend showing you how to get the newest version of Kodi. Um, now, as you can tell, my launcher looks different because I got a custom one than you guys. Um, most of you guys have this remote that comes with it. But <clears throat> what you're going to want to do is you have those tiles. You're going to want to go to settings. And then you're going to want to go all the way to the right. And then you're going to go down to where it says more settings. Select more settings. And once you select more settings, you'll get a screen that looks like this. Um, and then you need to go over to apps. And you need to click it. And then you need to go over to Kodi. Once you go to Kodi, what you need to do is you need to go to um, clear data. Clear the data on it. Sorry about that light right there. I know it's kind of a pain. Hold on one second. Let me let me try to switch light. Okay, hopefully that's a little better. So you're going to want to go to clear data, and then you're going to press OK right here. Hope you guys can see that. That looks good. Press OK. It's going to be saying recomputing size. Um, let it do what it's doing. And once that gets back to that, just Press your little home button, go back to your main screen, you know, and you guys have Cody on the, I think it's the bottom list, select Cody, and then you're going to see something like this. Yours might say Isengard or 14.2, um, or, uh, I forget which one that one is, I don't think many of you have 14.2. It's going to do this bar on the bottom, say it's preparing for first run, please wait. Let it do its thing for about, it's like 30 seconds to a minute. And then I'll show you where to go from there. It does take just a little bit. So then Cody's going to open and you're going to have this screen, this blue craziness. So you're going to want to go here, system. You're going to want to go to file manager. You're going to want to select it. You're going to want to add a source. Let me zoom out a little, guys. You're going to add a source and then you're going to type in HTTP. I know this is like bad. Let me zoom in. Okay, so HTTP colon forward slash forward slash Spartan and then pixel, P I X E L dot net forward slash repo okay so pause it if you have to write there it's http colon forward slash forward slash spartan s-p-a-r-t-a-n pixel p-i-x-e-l dot net forward slash repo that's kind of hard to see guys sorry about that then press done and then down here it's going to say repo and then it's going to say, you're going to go to OK. And if you look at the description at the bottom of the YouTube video, it's I'll have it typed in there for you. But you have to make sure this is correct. Like I can see mine, I didn't do the colon correct. It's colon, so you have to hold the shift and then hit the colon, you know, the two dots. Press OK. You're going to back out here and you're going to go to system you're going to select it you're going to go to add-ons select it install from zip select it and you're going to go to where it says repo Man. sorry about the camera you know what let me just hold it instead of just have it sit here hold on guys one sec Okay, so where it says repo, and it's that little red hard drive, select it, then go to the bottom, install this wizard.zip. You're going to see something come up on the bottom right there, and then go to my add-ons, then go to program add-ons, right there. And then right here on Spartan Wizard, what you need to do is on your keyboard, hit the C button, the, C, the letter C, and it's going to give you this option here, and you're going to hit configure. And then you're going to go here to where it says email, and you're going to type in, hold on one sec. 
All right, so you're going to type in David Espinoza. So it's David, D-A-V-I-D, E-S-P-I-N-O-S-A, 450 at yahoo.com. Then you're going to go to the corner and put done. And then for the password, you're going to type in Haley09, H-A-Y-L-E-E-09. -E -E then press done on the bottom left. Then go down here to OK. And then press OK on the wizard right there. Then go to open. Now, you can use any one of these. The Beast 1.4, the Beast 1.6, or the Royalist. I use the Royalist. It's very small, especially for the Android boxes. So it runs really smooth. Um, and all the add-ons are already updated. You can use the Beast if you guys want to. Um, and then if you don't like it, then just clear the data. Watch the video again and start over and pick the Royalist. But for this video, I'm going to do the Royalist. So I'm going to pause it real quick, and when it's at 100, I'll show you what's up. Okay, so this bar goes through once, and it hits 100, and then it goes through a second time saying extracting. Now it says, Amazon and Android devices, please power off. Press OK. Press OK. Then on your remote, there's like a little um, right mouse underneath the, I mean, there's an E right above the right mouse. It's like an E. It looks like an email E or something. Click that. Then you have to go back into settings. So on yours, it's a little different, but you need to get back to where it's here. So it looks like this, so you can get to apps, which is the very right settings, and then to the very right again, more settings. Click the apps. You have to go to Cody, and then you need to go over until where it says force stop right there. Okay, select force stop. It's going to ask you, are you sure you want to force an app, blah, 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 press OK. Then you want to give it about five seconds. It's done. Press that E again. It'll take you back to your tile home screen. Then you need to go where it says Cody. Press Cody. And once you press Cody, you'll see Cody. Yours will say Isengard, and then it'll say Royalist. Maybe it'll say um, whatever. And then you got this. Okay. This screen's going to pop up. Hit dismiss. Another one might pop up and say, yeah, see, watch 1080p is broken. You should disable it. Otherwise, it'll pop up all the time. And then if you want to watch a movie, you just hit movies and you go into the new app, Exodus, since Genesis is down. Uh, and then you can still do the years and everything. But before you do all that, let all that stuff in the top right just start updating. It's going to say Phoenix update, blah, 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 update. Something failed, then it's going to update. And it's going to do all this stuff. So let it do all of that right there. So that way, before you start trying to watch something, you're not slowing down your box, okay? All right, so if you have any questions, just let me know, all right? Thanks, guys.